Today, we find ourselves on a tropical farm, surrounded by lush, verdant greenery. And here, growing right before our eyes, is the fruit of a plant we know so well, a familiar friend, indeed. That's right, we're talking about vanilla. Just the name itself conjures up images of creamy vanilla ice cream, fragrant vanilla powder, and countless delicious treats flavored with this magical spice. But have you ever wondered where this captivating flavor actually comes from? The answer lies in the fruit of a plant belonging to the orchid family. Vanilla is no ordinary plant. It's an orchid with a unique and fascinating life cycle. The journey of vanilla, from farm to our kitchens, is both complex and labor-intensive. This is what makes it, one of the most prized spices in the world. In fact, vanilla is the second most expensive spice globally, second only to saffron. So, how did this unassuming plant achieve such a high status? And what does it take to cultivate this precious spice? Vanilla's story begins in Latin America and was widely cultivated by indigenous people long before European explorers set foot on the New World. During their explorations, the Spanish discovered this fragrant treasure and introduced it to Europe, along with cocoa. The demand for vanilla quickly grew, but growing it outside its native habitat proved to be quite challenging. The vanilla orchid is unique. It requires very specific environmental conditions to thrive and produce fruit. Initially, this made vanilla cultivation a difficult and exclusive endeavor. One of the main challenges in vanilla cultivation is pollination. In their natural environment, vanilla orchids rely on a specific type of bee and hummingbirds. However, when this plant was introduced to other parts of the world, the absence of these natural pollinators 
meant the plants rarely produced fruit. This all changed in the 19th century, when the technique of hand pollination was developed. This breakthrough allowed vanilla to be cultivated around the globe, significantly increasing its availability. Hand pollination involves manually transferring pollen from the male part of the flower to the female part. It's a delicate operation requiring skill and precision. This method revolutionized vanilla cultivation making large-scale production possible and making this spice more widely available in the global market. At the same time, advances in propagation techniques also played a crucial role. Initially, vanilla plants were propagated by cuttings. This method involves cutting off a part of the plant and replanting it to grow new vines. However, modern methods such as plant tissue culture have made vanilla propagation more efficient and controllable. Once the seedlings are propagated, they are nurtured in nurseries for several months. This nurturing stage is crucial. It prepares the seedlings for the next stage of being planted on the farm. Vanilla is typically grown as a climbing plant. This means that during their growth, they need support structures. These supports are often larger trees or posts, which the vanilla vines can climb and grow towards the sunlight. The environment for vanilla growth also needs careful preparation. Planting beds are often enriched with organic materials, such as tree branches and broken coconut shells. These materials decompose over time, providing essential nutrients for the plants. While the planting process itself is relatively simple, it requires great care. The vanilla cuttings or seedlings are planted directly into the prepared humus layer and secured to the support posts. Over time, 
these plants grow into vines, climbing their supports and reaching for the sun. However, patience is key when cultivating vanilla, as these plants can take up to four years to mature and bloom. And even when they do start flowering, the process is far from over. The vanilla orchid blooms only once a year, with each flower opening for just a single day. This makes the timing of pollination incredibly critical. Vanilla flowers are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs. But their structure makes self-pollination nearly impossible. As mentioned earlier, outside of Latin America, where natural pollinators are absent, human intervention is necessary. Pollination must be done within a few hours of the flower opening. Otherwise, the flower will wither and not produce fruit. Once pollination is successful, the vanilla flower begins the process of fruit development. This fruit, commonly known as a vanilla bean, is actually a seed pod. The pod takes about nine months to mature and be ready for harvest. Harvesting vanilla is a very meticulous process. because the pods do not all mature at the same time. Farmers need to carefully inspect the vines and select only the right pods. These pods are then handpicked or clipped off. But the vanilla journey doesn't end with the harvest. In fact, post-harvest processing is just as crucial for vanilla as the growing process. After harvesting, the vanilla pods undergo a series of steps to enhance their flavor and aroma. The first step is scalding, where the pods are briefly immersed in hot water to stop enzyme activity and prepare them for the next stage. The next step is sweating. The sun drying stage is short but intense. The pods need to be exposed to the sun for several hours each day.
This process helps evaporate excess moisture while preventing mold growth. Finally, the pods are transferred to a shady area to dry slowly over several weeks. This slow drying process allows the pods to develop their rich and complex flavor profile. Once dried, the vanilla beans enter the curing stage. At this stage, the pods are sorted according to quality, size, and appearance. The highest quality pods are typically longer, plumper, and have a deep, dark color. These premium pods are often used to make high-end food and specialty products. The remaining pods, while still valuable, are often used to produce vanilla extract, vanilla powder, or other flavoring products. The cultivation, harvesting, and processing of vanilla is an incredibly labor-intensive process. This is why vanilla has historically been an expensive spice due to the complexity of the growing process and the limited supply. The price of vanilla beans once reached as high as $500 per kilogram. However, with improvements in cultivation techniques and more countries starting to grow vanilla, the price has significantly decreased. Today, vanilla is priced at around $30 per kilogram, making it more accessible to consumers worldwide. Despite the price drop, the high labor intensity of vanilla cultivation ensures that it remains a high-value crop. Vanilla is not only prized for its culinary uses, but also widely used in perfumes, cosmetics, and aromatherapy. Vanilla's versatility makes it one of the most popular and widely used flavors in the world. Whether it's enhancing the taste of desserts, adding depth to savory dishes, or providing a soothing aroma, the demand for vanilla remains strong. Today, the global vanilla market is worth billions of dollars, and its cultivation provides livelihoods for hundreds of thousands of farmers around the world. Madagascar remains the largest producer of vanilla, supplying over 80% of the world's vanilla. Other major producing countries include Indonesia, Mexico, Papua New Guinea, and India. Vanilla produced in each region has its own unique flavor, characteristics which are influenced by factors such as soil composition, climate, and processing methods. In addition to the natural vanilla market, synthetic vanilla, vanillin, has also become a popular alternative. Vanillin can be produced from wood pulp or other chemical processes and is much less expensive than natural vanilla. While Synthetic vanilla is widely used in industrial food production. Many consumers and chefs prefer the depth and complexity of natural vanilla. With the growing demand for natural, high-quality ingredients, the future of vanilla cultivation looks promising. In conclusion, vanilla cultivation is a beautiful example of the delicate balance between nature and human ingenuity, from its origins in Latin America to its current widespread cultivation around the world. The journey of vanilla is a fascinating story of discovery, innovation, and passion. The next time you enjoy a scoop of vanilla ice cream or a vanilla-flavored dessert, take a moment to appreciate the complex and laborious process behind this delicious flavor. Vanilla, this unassuming orchid, has truly earned its place as one of the world's most beloved and luxurious spices.